Hello everyone! Uh, welcome to a new type of show that I'm gonna be running on this channel. I've seen challenges like this before on YouTube where people go through and try to create a song with like limited assets or a limited amount of time. Particularly I've seen Shady Takeda do it to a lot of success. That guy's incredible. I'm nowhere near as talented, but I know how to use sound fonts, I think, a little bit better because I have more experience with it, so... What I tried to do today was I took the sound font to the Generation 3 Pokemon games, one of the Game Boy Advance. I took those, put them into GarageBand, and tried to come up with a song in 20 minutes. It went horribly. It went atrociously. So much so that my entire computer crashed. And I lost all the footage to the first 18 minutes of the challenge. But that's fine. It's fine. We still have everything else. And so what this video is going to be is less so about actually making the song and more so about going back and kind of fixing it and making it into something that I'm actually really okay with. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Hope you enjoy. Uh, take you and then I copy you to the... Uh... Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. That's the timer. That's the timer done. I'm out of time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. I think it's safe to say that didn't go quite as well as I wanted it to. Oh, this is awful. This really is not good. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. This is so anticlimactic. Okay. Alright. Let's see where I went wrong with this. Okay, first off, this section right here is way too crowded. Like, listen to this. It could work. This section is actually relatively okay it's just there's not much backing to it like l like listen for a second like when i like to write something i want everything to feel like it's necessary the bass here bass is fine trumpet here let's see same thing as this but it provides more of like i don't know more mm. i do it sometimes it can work i think it might be the fact that this piano is just up one octave too high let's see how does this change things That actually helps quite a bit. You see right here we've estimated two things. We have this sounding a lot more organic because it has more of a backing. Like more on the lower end as opposed to everything that's being really up high. And we have a sense of progression going into here where it's actually higher again. Yeah, this this is getting better. This is better. Let's go over to the next part. You see, you can't even tell when the trumpet comes in. And I think part of that is just because the guitars are a bit too high. Let's see if we can't tweak that. Yeah, these are definitely at least not too high. More often than not, you want guitars to meet that sort of mid-section when you've got something like this. It definitely can work on the higher end. It's just, with this particular one, it sounds a bit screechy. Ooh, something is really off about these. Is there like, is it mismatched or... Question. What happens if we move this to the piano instead? Because I'm not entirely satisfied with the way that the guitar sounds with the sound font. So let's try it. can't even hear it. Mm, that's interesting. What if we move it exclusively down to the trumpet? See, in this instance, I actually do want to make it higher. So let's, if we give the trumpet it exclusively, let's see how that sounds like. This works a lot more effectively. And then, here's an idea. We take this and we do an octave. We do an octave of piano because it's kind of it's kind of low on its own. Also, especially when it's this far down. Let's bring it two octaves up. Perfect. Let's copy it. Come back to the beginning. Paste it on top of itself and bring it up an octave. Really easy way to add a bit more depth to what you're doing. There we go! And then we've got this section right here with the drums cut off too. That could actually make for some interesting things. Where are the drums at? Oh, the drums just stopped all the way back here. Oh, no wonder it was feeling so empty. If I were to redo this, the I feel like the biggest problem that I had with this is actually the drums. Because these drums just do not- there's- Usually you want like, do do da. You want something higher, but I wasn't satisfied with it and I was panicking. So I ended up with something like this. Something like this can work. But I feel like a simple fix would actually be changing these to something better. Or maybe 
maybe even adding something higher on these thirds. Yeah, that might actually work quite well. I'm still not happy with it, but that does help quite a bit. Let's see, how does that sound in comparison to what it was before? Yeah, this works a lot better. It's still not good, but by adding that in, it makes it feel a bit more... I guess you could say full? I don't know. Let's see. Still don't like it. Still not a fan. But if we mute it, the rest of the track sounds surprisingly passable. And then from here, you could just ride this out and then transition maybe into a bridge or not a bridge. Listen, I don't know music terms. I I push button till sound good. That's what I do. But you could do something like and then just move that and then maybe move it into like some get some like long chords. Maybe the lad put the lad in there. The lad didn't even get used. But yeah. I have done worse things in 20 minutes. It's not good, but you know, minus the drums, this came out surprisingly okay. I think it might be fun to go in and like, try to see if I couldn't finish this up. Like, add a different set of drums that I'm more familiar with and see how far I can get into this. Or maybe just work with these drums more, see what I can't come up with. So I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna spend like, a little while on it, and then I'm gonna show you the finished product once that's done. Alright, so I took some time to fix it up, and I'm actually really happy with how this came up in the end. I think it actually turned out into something that came out really well, so... I've just done some fine tuning to it, I've changed up the drum line quite a bit, I'll walk through what I changed once I let you listen to it, but yeah. Here is a run through. Then it just loops from there. So yeah, I I leaned heavily into the fact that certain sections of the sound so song sounded incredibly piratey, and so I just went all out with it. I did some fun stuff too. Uh, for the drum line, I actually ended up changing it up quite a bit. I moved to something a lot slower, just so that it would actually kind of fit the sort whole sort of like it's not meandering. It's very fast paced, of course, but it's kind of got this sort of like like almost like like you know like a pirate walking across like a like a like walking the play like doom 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 kind of like that so kind of like trying to replicate that and then it plays that and then after once it does a mix up and that just plays throughout the song i kept all the bass lines the same i didn't change anything with it uh what i did over here was of course i had this to go off of which is the bass line i always use for act threes of my song every time i need to stop it's it's gone too far but it works and it sounds great and so i took that and then i took some really fun stuff with the uh, strings to add some like sort of chords to it because that worked out really well at the ending of over here so i took that and you have normal and then this sort of pizzicato right there alternating back and forth which i think again very piratey if you got something going lead hard into it and then i did a cool little supplement thing because i couldn't get the trumpet to sound quite right here so i ended up going for taking the trumpet part like it's got octaves here, but then it becomes one, and the piano accompanies it. It has a really cool sense of progression to it that you can... I don't know, I think it reflects well on the song. It, it feels very Pokemon-ish, too. It's very... It reminds me a lot of Gen 5. It's something to do there all the time. And I just took that, repeated it once with slight variations and a bit of chorus at the trumpet to the end to distinguish it from this part right here. It's exactly the same other than that. And then added a quick uh, transition back to the beginning. Not the cleanest thing, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you everyone for giving this a listen. If you want to check out the music, I have a SoundCloud link below. You can download it. You can feel free to use it in anything you want. Completely, I, I practically don't even own it at this point. Just run with it. 
credit me if you want, but honestly, that's not completely necessary. Just thank you all so much for watching, and let me know if you want to see me try any other music challenge thing like this too. Maybe I'll write something. Maybe I'll write something without the stupid freaking ending section that I always use next time. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye. I guess.